Welcome, pilots! This video is part of my guide detailing every high security combat site. In most of these videos, you'll see me flying an assault frigate called the Ishker. This is mainly because it's my favorite ship to fly, but it does perform quite well in the Garista's burrow. Combat anomalies appear in your probe scanner window, and you can warp to them immediately. The Garista's Burrow is a combat anomaly found in all systems with a security status of 0.9 or higher throughout Kaldari space. It has a low level of difficulty to run, but the NPC ships can spawn quite a ways apart with each wave. This can make the site a little more tedious to run if you're not well equipped. While it does have some potential for decent loot drops, this seems significantly more rare than it is for the Garista's Hideaway, Refuge, or Den. It also does not have any chance of escalating. The site comes in two different configurations. The first configuration of the Grista's Burrow consists of a central rock formation with bunkers a ways off on either side. This configuration is much more straightforward, with five waves of up to four Garista's Frigate or Corvette NPCs. The final wave with the potential Faction Frigate will spawn to the left of the main rock formation, near a freight pad flanked by two bunkers. The second configuration of the Garista's Burrow consists of an asteroid station next to a series of freight pads and storage silos. The initial wave is split into two groups. The group above the beacon will have one or two Garista's Frigate NPCs and can actually be ignored. The group near the base will have three or four Garista's Frigate NPCs and must be destroyed to spawn the second wave. The second wave spawns three or four Garista's Frigate NPCs near the base, and must be destroyed to spawn the third wave. The third wave spawns one or two Garista's Frigate NPCs way off near a wreckage. This wave does not actually need to be fully destroyed to complete the site. Once at least one of these ships is taken down to 50% armor, the fourth wave spawns. The fourth wave spawns three or four Garista's Frigate NPCs near the base, and must be destroyed to spawn the fifth and final wave. The fifth wave spawns up to three Garista's Frigate NPCs near the base. If you're lucky, the final wave in either configuration will include a frigate identified as a Dread Garista's. The Dread Garista's NPC will always drop a Dread Garista's copper tag, and either 1,000 Garista's light missiles or rockets, or 1,000 rounds of Dread Garista's small charge ammunition. While I did not witness any additional loot besides the ammunition while gathering footage for this video, I suspect there is a very small chance that a Dread Garista's module could drop. A ship like the Ishker, fit with railguns, is capable of running this site in about two minutes. For newer Caldari pilots, a Merlin fit with railguns, or a Kestrel fit with light missiles, works almost as well. In fact, almost any frigate or destroyer is capable of running the site quickly, with tactical destroyers being the most efficient. Many larger ships can actually be a detriment, as their lock times tend to be too long to compete against frigates or destroyers. If you're out in a cruiser class ship or larger, I would recommend either an Orthrus or a ship with a supply of auto-targeting light missiles. Relying on drones can also be a detriment, as they have to travel quite a distance between NPC spawn points. While recording the footage for this video series, I kept track of the statistics for 50 Garista's burrow sites. Over this period, five of these spawned a Dread Garista's pirate. None of these dropped anything beyond the faction ammo and tags. If you're looking to maximize profits while out exploring, I would actually ignore this site altogether. Stay tuned to Riley Entertainment for more EVE Online combat site guides. In high security Caldari space, you'll also find the Garista's Hideaway, Refuge, and Den among the combat anomalies, as well as combat signatures named the Garista's Hideout, Lookout, Watch, and Vigil. Other NPC pirates include Rogue Drones, the Serpentis, Angel Cartel, Blood Raiders, and Sancha's Nation. Throughout 2020, I completed my guide for the high-security Serpentis combat sites. If you find yourself in Glent space, you can check out those videos right now. You can find all of my EVE Online content in the gaming section of my website over at RileyEntertainment.com. This includes sections that I'll be expanding upon in the coming months for high-security combat sites, and the Cosmos missions and sites.